we have arrived at the top 10 lists. This top 10 list is at the top 10 most creepy Clone Wars characters. These characters might be pedophiles, even what the f or they're just friggin' no. disturbing. They're not, they're not pedos. Okay, so at number 10, we have Aura Singh. Oh, God. I don't know why she's on here. Singh is a friggin' pedophile. That, why is she? She's creepy. I mean, but, she's got this little, she's carrying, she has little Boba running around with her all the, you know, okay, taking no, advantage. No, no, no. Look at what she's doing with Boba some of the time. What? The Clone Wars doesn't get into it, but, you know. <laughs> I don't want to get into it. There's nothing happening. I like Aura Singh. I like her in her orange jumpsuit more. She looks more, you know, classic and original. The black lead makes it look kind of... Yeah, I think uh, Boba... That's true, yeah. Really creepy as she, like, is a pedo and, of course... She's not a pedo. ...does something evil later on. I will not show that clip. I will not show that clip. We're going to show the clip. No. I'll put a link to it in the description. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The line. Zero, Zero the hut. Oh my god. Uh, everyone finds this character creepy. I think it's. Come on, when you guys were in theaters and you saw Zero the Hut, uh, you had to be creeped out at some point. I, I mean, this guy was. When you heard him, it's when you were going and got the worst creeped out. I thought That's he was a chick. Uncle? Just stop his uncle? He sounds like a transvestite. Well, he's. It's disgusting. I, don't know. I was just. That's coming from a hut. Jim, I mean, I was expecting Tim Curry to pop out of nowhere and sing. God damn. <laughs> but it was just like. Yeah, they're bringing transvestites into Clone Wars now. Okay. Yeah. I see where this is going. Oh, uh, and also, he does have one of the creepiest makeout scenes ever. He makes out with a little Palawick, Panawick, Panawick, uh, Nika little frog thing. Sorry, Snootles. Uh, yes, I Snootles. Yeah. She's not on this list, by the way. Number eight, Jar Jar Binks. By the gods, this is the most annoying, disturbing, creepy... Bastard I've ever seen in my life. They you wouldn't have one on a list like this. Children. <laughs> in reality, he actually scares children. Oh, I hate him. I hate him. He's got that long tongue. He's like the Slender Man of Star Wars. Instead of long arms, he's got long tongues. Yeah. Completely unnecessary, too. I mean, what what is he? They throw him around in the Clone Wars like he's some sort of. I don't know. It's like they throw him into an episode. Watch him do this. I'll watch him. I'll watch him get incinerated. Yeah. <laughs> Or watch me eat pan maze. Oh my god. I god damn it. Go too far with that. Number seven, Marolo Evil. Uh, he, he was he was really freaking creepy. You know, I yeah. liked Marolo, but I have to admit he had his creepy moments. I did like him, but yeah, he he was like just like I thought at first Sobek was kinda creepy. But then I saw this guy and I was like, What the f is they doing? Oh my god. He just looks, and the way he talks, it's kind of cool, but by God, is he creepy? Yeah. And let's not forget, he did kill his mother as a child. Yeah, what was up with that? I mean, that's really dark for Clone yeah. Wars. He was bored. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, oh my God. He killed his mother when he was a child. <laughs> like, really? They put that in the kids' show? It's just... Oh my god, that will frighten mothers everywhere. So, number six. The tea tea and, and the tea people. The tea people. Oh my god. Oh. Now, see, they could be mistaken as, as pedophiles. Yeah. They yeah. Should make, as yeah. They do give tea to children, <laughs> which they evidently poison. Ugh. Yeah. That's always fun. And also, t -Var's voice, while it is kind of cool, it is more creepy. Freaking scary as hell. Yeah. Yeah, and if you put a sense of PayPal for it, you could see his true intentions. Like, yeah, no thanks. It's just one of those characters that didn't need to be there, nor did I don't think anyone wanted it to be there. And Unnecessary. <laughs> Yeah, and the episode as a whole was very uncreative. And sucked! Really poison tea. Really badly, it sucked. You know, that's the one episode I think I actually skipped. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, it sucked. Yeah, this was one of the reasons why season three was the worst. Stick around and you'll see another reason. Number five, 
old docker oh this thing was like this thing was one of the freakiest things i've ever seen now, this episode has some pretty creepy stuff like the, the zombie night sisters night witches and... have docker to blame for those zombie night sisters she her character's design was really peculiar i don't know i'm surprised that she got her own holo projector in glenn wall's adventures you know she looks like yeah. a, she looks like my grade five math teacher now that i think about it oh <laughs> Wow. She kind of does. I'm teaching you. She kind of does to think of it. It's really <laughs> weird. Another creepy thing about this character is that while she is a woman, she is voiced by a man. D Baker. He he voices a lot of chicks. He voices. He voices her. Voices the Gene Ocean thing. He voices. Who else does he voice? Clones. Oh, I don't know. Oh yeah. Uh, oh. If people could catch on to that joke, they're really going to rage. Anyways. Yes. Number four is Darone. Oh, my God. That mating call. Oh. Yeah, I think that was the thing that creeped people out the most. Yeah. This is officially the Goomba on steroids. I don't know. He, he's got, like, the tentacles. He's got the weird shoulder cannon thing, which I don't think he uses. And then he got that weird maiden call thing, and Bane calls him an ass bag, so. Yeah. No comment there. And let's not forget his design is one of the weirdest things I've seen in Man Wars. Like, uh, look, it's the Mushroom Man. By <laughs> 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 God, man. Anyway, <laughs> number three. Hurry <laughs> Oh, this thing. This one was like that was the one she was like, "You will die now." I can't do it when I'm sick. Also voiced by D. Bradley Baker. <laughs> he voices all the creepy chicks, man. Yeah. That thing, I would have nightmares after. She shit uh, out of what? mini gene oceans in. Makes you wonder balls. what's under the ground. It's like her ass. Ugh. Her brother fucking said that it stunk down there. It was yeah. very. It was like a little tiny thing sitting on like a giant big thing. It was really peculiar looking. And I think there was subliminal messaging in Karina's thing. What? God damn it, Corey. Oh my god. And they even put that as part of her character in Lego Star Wars 3. I didn't play that game. And I think at this point, I'm pretty glad I am. Actually, sperms out explosives. <coughs> well, what? Uh, play the game and you'll find out. Uh, yeah. Number two is Mama the Hut. Mama the Hut. What? Okay. Oh. God, this thing was disgusting. She's freaking awesome. Disgusting. Yeah. Disgustingly she awesome, right nearly here. Nearly This thing money. is going to save. The Clone War. I mean, if they could, if Palpatine could just consider cloning that, <laughs> the galaxy it, is his. I mean, the oh. possibilities are endless with that thing as, you know, dropping it on buildings, destroying. <laughs> I mean, come on. That, who wouldn't have seen that as a good option? Yeah, Momo the Hutt is friggin' awesome as she is the world's fattest hat. She's so creepy as hell, though. Yeah, I'd love to see a Momo the Hutt Christmas card. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Keep it away from me. Yeah. And number one. <laughs> number so, one. basically, <laughs> he's on here for a variety of reasons. <laughs> Mostly to do with Corey. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta I don't like him because he guys. turns into that little freaky jackrabbit thing. Yeah, that was. <laughs> and then stuff with Anakin's mom, that was like... Oh, that was just weird. Like, he turns into a chick and tries to, like, grope Anakin. I'm like, what? It's this friggin' thing! It's and a he... Kill us! Kill us! And he turns into a gargoyle and flies around having a hissy fit. Yeah. And then there was that one time he raged, and then he was like, We will destroy the Sith and the Jedi, and fires all over the place. And his motive doesn't make any sense. I mean, I know it's supposed to be like a larger picture of what's going to happen eventually, but it really just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't have a motive. Exactly. But she sucked for the reason that it had no place in the Clone Wars. It was a big alligator moment. 
<laughs> no, but it it was voiced by Sam Witwer. Oh, which, that's true. I mean, the crippling he doesn't like older, uh, old old. Uh, no, Secret was Sam Witwer. I don't know. I mean, he did the voice well, but the character was kind of. <laughs> it looked like a demonic mime. <laughs> it, that's a good way to put it. It looks like a demon mime. I mean, it's got like the white face and it's got like the weird red eyes. Jesus. Next time I see a mime in the street, I'm going to be like, stay away from me. Just stay away from and me. And he has two toes and he wears a dress. And what sensible guy dresses like that? I'm sorry. A guy who's been hiding in a secret just like dimension for years. I mean, but, that's I mean, a man crush on Anakin. But yeah, how did the how did him and the daughter come to exist? Because the father was there, but where's the mother? Did he uh, like do the it? Mother, uh, she like she probably packed up her bags one day and said, "All right, father, if you're gonna give birth to one of these kids, I'm out of here." You know, she, she probably God, maybe was, he did. Yeah, it I bet you she's the, mom of the hut. Oh my God! I bet that's the family tree right there. I bet. And that means Toro is somewhere in the mix too. They threw him. They, 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 he's like the extra. You know, they didn't talk about him. He's the, like, the, the, yeah, the third. That, that moment left for that reason. The son is emo. I'm leaving you. Good yes. Yeah. No, maybe he did it with the Force. You can no, have, look at it. Have look, look, <laughs> like, the Force and him just, like, did it, and then the Force gave birth to those two things, and then that's how they came to be. If the Force is Mama the Hut. God. I so could like, not think about it's inserting been sitting it. sitting there, <laughs> running away. Just as the Sith come to rise, it sits there in its little hut. But it Barbara, is a... I don't know. Now I'm getting off topic, but... Ugh. Either way, the sun is like one of the freakiest things Clone Wars has shown us so far. That's Agree. the thing. Oh, my God. Kill it! Oh, good Anakin. Yeah, he did something useful. For once. For once, exactly. <laughs> So, Corey, conclude the thing already. Okay, and that was the Rage Fest of our episode. Hope you all enjoyed that, and hopefully we'll be able to do this every week, as I will probably have more free time, or be forced to edit the episode really fast. Yeah. <laughs> so, that was your ending? That is the episode.